Terra has very quickly become my all-time favourite Bethesda companion, outside of my wife Serana, of course, but I've said it before and I'll say it again, Sarah is Starfield's Nick Valentine, she is the best written character that I've met so far, and I just love this follower. So today I want to show you, without any spoilers whatsoever, how to reach maximum affinity slash relationship with Sarah Morgan. Again, no spoilers here, I'm not even going to show you dialogue, I'm just going to tell you what you need to do as quickly as I can. Let's get to it. Well, essentially, to put this as simply as I can, the affinity bar needs to be filled up. Now, you're probably thinking, what bar? There's no bar. And you're right, because the bar is invisible. Basically, every time you do something that Sarah likes or loves, this invisible bar will slowly fill up. If you keep doing things that she likes and loves, eventually it will fill all the way and you can start to build a relationship with her and even get married. So what does Sarah like and love? Sarah is a morally good character, so you probably don't want to have her with you when you do Crimson Fleet missions if you get what I'm saying. Basically, anytime you can, you need to be the classic good guy. So for example, if someone gives you the option to, I don't know, kill someone or send them to jail, you should pick jail. Sarah believes in lawful justice and only killing when absolutely necessary. This means if you shoot an innocent NPC in the face point blank, she's going to hate that and the invisible affinity bar will get lowered drastically. Same goes for stealing, she dislikes it when you steal and can even moan at you about it. Now I will say, if you've played Fallout 4, don't worry too much about this. I've found that the dislike and hate thing is more rare, let's say, in Starfield, as in it doesn't happen as much as it did in Fallout 4. For example, I did steal and Sarah disliked it, but I kept stealing and nothing happened. She didn't dislike it again for a very long time. So Bethesda have clearly made hates and dislikes for your companions less common, whereas getting them to like you is a lot easier, if that makes sense. Well, again, no spoilers, but eventually Sarah is going to open up to you and tell you about her past and her life before Constellation and all of that stuff, and all you need to do is be understanding and keep telling her that you're there for her. Don't blame anything on her, try to reassure her, and just be nice, basically, just don't be a dick. <laughs> Now, as far as flirting goes, you need to pick the flirt option every single time that it pops up. Flirt with her every single time it gives you the option to. I don't know if you can still fully romance her without doing this, but when I was trying to romance her, I flirted every single time that I could, and that's what made me reach maximum affinity, so just do that. Just flirt with her every time the game gives you the option to. Now, very important, every time you flirt, she's going to act like she's not interested and say that she doesn't want a relationship, etc, etc, and that's absolutely fine. That's what's supposed to happen. You didn't mess anything up, so don't worry. Keep flirting, and eventually she'll open up and explain to you why she's scared to be in a relationship even though she likes you. Again, keep flirting, and eventually it will work. You can fully romance Sarah. So again, just be nice, understanding and reasonable, be a sort of lawful good guy and you'll be able to reach max affinity and relationship no problem. Now the last thing that you need to do is keep Sarah with you pretty much at all times. The longer you're with companions, the more they'll grow to like you, the more this invisible affinity bar will rise. For example, I have barely used Barra, I still haven't even done his personal quest, and because of this, it took him a while to open up to me. Whereas as soon as I met Sarah, I made her my companion because I love her, and the romance slash affinity thing happened fairly quickly. Now I will say, this isn't something you're going to achieve in a couple of hours. It does take a while because you're slowly building a relationship with Sarah. The affinity does have a cooldown, meaning you can't just do things that she likes constantly and have her suddenly want to bed you. Once it says that Sarah has liked or loved that, it needs to cool down before it can happen again. But just keep picking the nice slash good guy options and the lawful good options and you will get through this no problem. If you find that you're struggling, just come back to the video and, you know, just go over everything again. That is pretty much it. I don't want to make this video any longer than it has to be. If you have any questions, comment them below or join our Discord and I will be happy to try and help you out. Lastly, if this did help you, please do leave the video a like as it really helps out my channel. And you're also helping other Starfield players find the video if they're struggling too. If you want to stay up to date on quick, straight to the point Starfield content, this is absolutely the place for you, so consider subscribing, I've got you covered. Of course, lastly, as always, a huge and massive thank you to our channel members, your support means the world, so thank you so much for being here month after month. But with that all said and done, thank you all so much for watching, and I really hope to see you next time. Peace.